Octopus populations have been booming in the past 60 years to the point where some marine biologists even call them the weeds of the sea. Their main purpose in life is to breed and make babies, but the way they do that is real weird. Check out this Facebook video we made to see how octopuses do the dirty. The octopus has eight tentacles, and in the male, one of those tentacles is also a penis. Well, sort of. This is the hectocotylus, a specialized mating arm with a groove that runs along the tentacle, carrying packets of sperm to be distributed from the tip, should that special moment arrive. Most octopuses live solitary, antisocial lives, hunting and scavenging for food along the ocean floor. However, when the time arises, they mate in a very intimate way. The male must deposit its sperm into a hole in the female's mantle, a hole that she uses to breathe and expel waste, or as Aristotle romantically described, the nostril of the female. In a vast and sparse ocean, the opportunity to procreate is rare, and for most octopus species, it will be the last thing they ever do. Because for male octopuses, the prospect of mating is a dangerous one. You see, the female is often larger, hungrier, oh, and a cannibal. So in order to protect himself, he must make a careful and considered approach. For longer-armed octopuses, the move of choice is the reach. To keep their distance from the cannibal female, the male will stretch his mating arm as long as possible, keeping his distance while he copulates. Some species will even wait until the female is foraging for food and therefore too preoccupied to eat them. And some species have evolved beyond the reach. More cautious males will simply detach their mating arm and give them to the female. The hectocotylus will stay intact in the female's mantle until the female is ready for fertilization. Once the copulation is complete, the octopus's life mission is complete. Both male and female will experience a dementia-like state of being after mating called senescence. The male will experience this alone. They do not eat or return to their dens and will eventually die from their weakened state. The female will devote the rest of her days to her eggs, ensuring that her thousands of offspring hatch before dying of exhaustion. This unconventional courtship will create 56,000 eggs, and because the yield is stable, only two will survive to maturity. Pretty crazy, right? Those poor little guys. If you want to know more about how animals get it on, check out our series Wild Sex on Seeker's Facebook page, Seeker Media. In the meantime, if you're curious about what happens after ancient humans and Neanderthals had sex, watch this video here. Are there any other weird animals you want to know more about? Let us know down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching Seeker.